Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series where I preview and predict every men's college basketball conference tournament. And now up is the American Athletic Conference, which is the 28th of 31 episodes of the series. The tournament will begin on Thursday, March 11th, and it will be held at the home of the SMU Mustangs at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. So Thursday, March 11th is the first round. The second round is Friday, March 12th, which is the quarterfinals, obviously. The semifinals, Saturday, March 13th, and the championship game is Sunday, March 14th. So without further ado, here we go. First round, Thursday, March 11th. 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Central on ESPU, ESPNU. Nine-seeded Temple against eight-seeded USF. Temple, 5-10 and 10 overall, 4-10 and 10 in conference play. And USF, 8-12 and 12 on the year, 4-10 and 10 in conference play. My projection here is USF by two, total 134.5. Therefore, I have South Florida into the quarterfinals. The second of three first round games, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on ESPNU. 10 seeded Tulane against 7 seeded Tulsa. Tulane, 9 and 12 overall, 4 and 12 in conference fight. Tulsa, 11 11 overall, 7 and 9 in conference fight. My projection is Tulsa 8, total 130. Therefore, I have Tulsa into the quarterfinals. And the third of three games, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern on ESPNU. 11 seeded East Carolina against 6 seeded UCF. ECU, 8 and 10 overall, 2 and 10 in conference play. UCF, 10 11 on the year, 8 and 10 in conference play. My projection is UCF by 6, total 135 and a half. Therefore, I have UCF into the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, Friday, March 12, 12 o'clock p.m. on ESPN 2. 8 seeded USF against 1 seeded Wichita State. Against 1 seeded Wichita State, Wichita State. On the season, 15-4 overall, 11-2 in conference play. My projection is Wichita by 12 and a half. So, therefore, Wichita to the semifinals. The second of four quarterfinal games, 3 o'clock p.m. on ESPN2 on Friday, March 12th. Five-seeded Cincinnati against four-seeded SMU. Cincinnati, 10-10 and on the year, 8-6 and in conference play. SMU, 11-4 on the year, 7-4. In conference play, my projection is SMU 3 total 141 and a half. Therefore, I have SMU to the semifinals. The third or four quarter final game, 7 o'clock p.m. on ESPNU. 17 in Tulsa against two seeded Houston. Houston 21 and 3 on the air, 14 and 3 in conference play. My projection is Houston by 14. Therefore, Houston to the semifinals. And the fourth of four quarter final games, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. On ESPNU, you got six-seeded UCF against three-seeded Memphis. Memphis on the season, 15-7 and seven overall, 11-4 and four in conference. So my projection is Memphis by 11, therefore Memphis to the semifinals. Semifinals Saturday, March 13th, 3 o'clock p.m. on ESPN2. You got four-seeded SMU against one-seeded Wichita State, two um, very solid teams. Obviously, uh, SMU is coming off their little COVID pause, so you know that there has a there's a chance that that could mean that they are rusty. Um, but anyway, they have a solid roster led by Kendrick Davis, and on the other side of Wichita, they've been, I think, a pleasant surprise this year in the American. Greg Marshall, that whole scansion happens. He resigns. And their intern rightfully got the intern tag removed and is now their permanent head coach. So good for him. And then their leading scorer is Tyson Etienne. He's been tremendous for Wichita State. And I think that he will lead them to the championship as I project Wichita by two and a half. And the second of two semifinal games Friday night, 5.30 p.m. on ESPN2. Three-seeded Memphis against two-seeded Houston. So a rematch from a couple Sundays ago, or this past Sunday, I think it was, when uh, Houston had the half 
Gord Heave to win the game against Memphis on CBS. Um, this should be a really fun game. Um, Memphis has kind of come on a little bit of late. Um, led by Landers Noli and DeAndre Williams. And on the other side with Houston, they've been great all year. Quentin Grimes has led the way. And they also have Marcus Sasser and... Dejan Jaru, who are really good players as well. Um, my projection here is Houston by five and a half, and I think that Houston will move on to the championship game. And last but not least, the championship, you got two-seeded Houston, one-seeded Wichita State. Obviously the two best teams in the conference. Um, there's a lot of bickering because Houston's not the one team, which Tusk State is, and one team had a COVID pause and still got away with being the one seed in the conference tournament. Um, I mentioned earlier all the great players. You have um, ETN and Al Tariq Gilbert on the Wichita side. And on the Houston side, you have Grimes, and you got... Um, Jarreau and Sasser and Justin Gorham as well. I think Houston's deeper and I think they're better. I think they are really trying for a one seed and hoping that Illinois falls to Rutgers or something like that in the uh, Big Ten tournament. So um, I project Houston by five and a half, and that's pretty big. And I think that Houston will indeed win the 2021 American Athletic Conference Tournament as they'll receive the auto bid into the big dance. I think that Wichita will be an at-large. They just have the 8-9 written all over them. And SMU, I still think, has a chance despite the COVID pause. I just think that they have to win their conference tournament game or else they're out. And I think that Memphis has a shot to... I think that Memphis has to... Um, actually win the auto bid, which isn't out of the realm of possibility. Cincinnati hasn't been the Cincinnati of old, so you can cross them off, unfortunately. So there you have it, the American Athletic Conference tournament preview and predictions. Next up is the Mid-American Conference. <laughs> 